Latest now at USC after it was announced that Bob Caslin resigned as president of the University of South Carolina. The school indicated Harris Pastides would become the interim president. And while it was thought that Pastides would take over immediately, it's going to take a little more time than expected. So News 19's Nick Jones is live from the horseshoe with the latest details. What did you find out today, Nick? Well, in order for Harris Pastides to become the interim president for the university, he would have to be voted on by the full board. Now, that's information coming from the university. With Castlin resigning on Wednesday, the school does not have a president at this time. While he verbally offered to resign earlier in the week and it was not accepted by the board, the school says it is the president's right to end his employment with the university. Until a new president is selected, the school says each organization or school will be run by their respective vice presidents or senior administrative officials. A spokesperson with the university says board chairman Dr. Dorn Smith III asked Pastides if he would serve as interim. While Pastides agreed to serve the position, there still needs to be a formal vote by the trustees in order to approve him as the interim. Since the news of Casson's resignation, News 19 has reached out to the board members to find out why they didn't accept Casson's verbal offer to resign earlier in the week and how they're going to handle the search moving forward. Many of the board members have referred back to the board chairman, who we have not heard back from at this time. Governor Henry McMaster, who is part of the board, talked today about the support for Castlin and how he's sad to see him go. I think the university will do a fine job of finding a replacement. Uh, I think that General Caslin, President Caslin, did a, a splendid job in the two years he was here. He, he uh, expanded the influence of the university in a number of areas, besides doing a great job with, with the virus, which was even recognized by national authorities, uh, his work with expanding the influence of the university into the cyber command in, in Georgia and with the Dreamport in, in Aiken and all of the cyber uh, area, the arena that we see taking on more and more importance right now. I think he did a splendid job. I'm sorry to see him go. On Friday, May 21st, a vote by the full board will take place to approve Harris Pastides as interim president. In Columbia, Nick Jones, News 19, WLTX. Here's a look at how we got to this point. The controversy started last Friday when former USC President Bob Caslin delivered a speech during a graduation ceremony. He mistakenly referred to the new graduates as alumni from the University of California. He also appeared to use part of a speech given by someone else. On Sunday, online reports accused Caslin of plagiarizing part of his speech. He offered to resign to the chairman of USC's Board of Trustees. His offer was declined. On Monday, Caslin sent a letter to students and alumni apologizing for his graduation speech. A day later, calls grow for Caslin to resign, some lawmakers even saying that the school should cut ties with Caslin. Yesterday, Bob Caslin submitted a letter of resignation. We'll have more on Caslin's re resignation and what's next for the university coming up tonight on News 19 at 6.